I'd been to Baghdad and to Kabul, um, and I was thinking about, I shoot, I shoot regularly for like magazines and such, and uh, Raymond Carver's book, uh, What We Talk About When We Talk About Love, um, I was thinking about that with the media, like what we talk about when we talk about the media, because like when I was in, when I came back from Baghdad, uh, and when I came back from Kabul, I was wondering like why certain things weren't covered in the media, and uh, and it also occurred to me that I shooting for these places that I could probably get into them. In the last month, I photographed uh, CNBC, Talking Points Memo, and the Tennessean in Nashville. It's a newspaper. It's an old newspaper that's now owned by Gannett. So I wanted to wanted to get an idea of like what these places sort of look like because this is where the news as we speak of it is actually made. The notion of proxemics factored in when I, when I was reading about like how spaces are arranged. So um, how this space is arranged, like the exact placement of the chairs and the tables. If I were to take a picture of this place, you would probably think this is a community center. And that's evidenced in the way that everything is laid out. In a newsroom, um, certain news agencies are more uh, group efforts than others. And, and how, that, how that news gets disseminated and, and, uh, and how those decisions get made, I think, actually factor into the personality of the news entity. So I call them nodes because news or potentially newsworthy events come in, people confer about what it is that's going to be news that evening, that week, that month, that day. And, uh, and then they decide that this is news. I think the whole notion of, of objectivity is just filled with, filled with so many holes. And, and it's because of, of being objective that we left the door open for somebody like fucking Fox to step in and say, uh, uh, we, we report, you decide, or whatever the hell it is they say. Like, their, their fairness, all this bullshit. Um, well, by the rules of objectivity, okay, sure. Did you know that more people get their news from Fox, this is true, from Fox News than any other outlet in America. Foxnews.com is the most visited news website in this country. You're saying it's the most contacted website? Uh, they have a way of, of packaging the news that, that they're very targeted at a certain demographic. I mean, Fox News, I think, tells people what they think that they already know. Okay, and then they add a little something to it, and and I think that's why they're really successful. Um, so let's see. This is uh, CBS Evening News. This is near the end of Katie Couric's run. This red phone in the center. If you really fuck up, this phone rings, <laughs> and it's the head of the network calling to say you really fucked up. Um, and I, I asked him, I said, does that phone ever ring? He's like, yeah, it does. And I'm like, well, what happens in here when it rings? He said, no one speaks. <laughs> they were like, oh. these are, I always do these at long exposures. I do them at really long exposures because I like to, I like to show like the place. Because all that stuff that I was talking about, proximates, I mean, I think you can tell in a lot of these, there's nothing else that this could be. Besides maybe, I don't know, a place that launches satellites. Um, but. <laughs> That's, that's MSNBC. When they come on at four o'clock and they say, this is what we're gonna do, these guys are figuring out like, which story are we gonna run? And in what sequence? And they're sitting there at three o'clock with about 50 minutes to go before they go live. Um, this is Al Jazeera. There's, there's so few places that are doing investigative news. Al Jazeera does a lot of it. Um, if you want to see what's happening, like they did a really great three-part series about the meltdown on Wall Street. And this is the New Haven Independent. They're one of the few, they're one of the few, uh, the only one I can think of. They started online and due to the fact that their online publication went really well, they started publishing on paper. I'm glad that we don't have as many newspapers as we did because we have more media outlets. And it's, I, think it's, I think actually not wasting all that paper and not having ink all over my, all over my bed every Sunday is not a bad thing. I'm well, sorry to see Harold Tribune go. Yeah. I'm sorry to see any of them go, but I like the ones that, that don't go and they like become something else. Like the New York Times is really something else now. And Al Jazeera. I mean, Al Jazeera is just like ones and zeros floating in the air, but doing a really, like a, playing a very, very important role in the world, I think. Hmm. 
So if we have to sacrifice a couple of newspapers, I'm sorry, but that's, you know, I'll live with it. <laughs> no, no, thank you. And thank you guys, really. So and that's all I got.